All right, I'm gonna show you how I spin as I go making these plarn today. And we're outside because it's very noisy inside. Of course, the thunder's going too, so we'll do the best we can. So I've got my loop of plarn. I'm gonna take my new strip from the grocery bag. I'm going to insert the loop and then I'm gonna pull the rest through that new loop. And when I go to pull it tight, I make sure that my loops are opposite so they slide together to make the smallest knot possible. Then I've got a spindle with a hook. And honestly, you could spin this with your hands, but this is easy. And I'm going to roll it to get the spin into the plarn just enough to give it a little more strength and make it a little bit easier to work with. So that was just spinning that way. And then I will take, and what I'm doing here is a form of null binding. I'm dropping my spindle. And I am picking up my stitches here, maybe. There we go. Get yeah, my stitches here. Finding my loops. And this method of spinning as you go with this plarn works really well for null binding and actually weaving as well. The bottom of this basket I made by weaving it and I did the spin as you go plarn for that. You could do it for crochet and knitting too, but crochet and knitting work just well from a large ball of yarn. So there we go. How to spin as you go using plarn.